We're going to tie up one of my soft tackles right now. This is just a furry, buggy looking fly. It's a soft tackle nymph. I have a size 14 1XL nymph hook in the vise here. I'm going to attach my thread behind the hook eye, about a hook eye's length, and I'll wrap it back to the back. Take off the tag. <clears throat> now I'm going to take a partridge feather, a brown partridge. I'm going to clip off the base there. I'm going to stroke these fibers out 90 degrees from the stem. And I'm going to take a bunch, even them out at the tip, so the tips are even. Pinch them, strip them. I'm not going to move my fingers at all. I'm going to transfer it to my right hand, keeping the tips even. Bring it back to the back of the hook about a hook length, a little bit less maybe, and tie it in on top with a pinch wrap, another couple wraps. Now I'm going to wrap it up to the front just to tie those down, and bring it back to the back hook bend again. Okay, now we have our tail tied in. Now we're going to make a mixture of, of, of Rusty Rabbit and Sparkle uh, Ice Dubbing Rusty Brown. So what I'm going to do, this is for one or two flies, I just have enough for a couple of flies here. And I'm going to take, take them and I'm just going to put them together there. I'm going to start tearing them. And just mixing them together. Keep mixing them. You can take out any guard hairs if you don't want guard hairs to make a little bit smoother body. Still be buggy. And there we have a mixture for our abdomen section. And you can see just a little bit of sparkle in that. Yet we still have the bugginess of the rabbit. I'm going to take a little bit off here, pinch a little bit off, and I'm going to loosely pinch, dub it onto my thread there. That's going to be about enough right there. Now when I'm making my turns, I'm making very loose turns here because I want it to be kind of a shaggy kind of body here. I'm not overlapping anything. Just shaggy, shaggy, shaggy. One more turn, a couple more turns here. And there we have our thorax tied in. So next we'll do the same thing with our, I'm sorry, our abdomen tied in. Next we'll do the same thing with our thorax now. Just pre-mix them. A little bit of olive and olive, olive rabbit and olive ice dubbing. And now we're going to direct dub that. more wraps here and our thorax will be done. And now we have our thorax. So we have a
contrast of colors here. Darker abdomen, lighter thorax. And what that's going to do is going to give the uh, impression of a emerging insect perhaps or just sparkle and contrast between the two dubbings. You can see there's movement in that already. What you can do even if you want to make it even buggier, just pick out some of those fibers with the tip of your scissors. And now we have a lot of bugginess there. So now we're going to take it our partridge feather again the one we used to make the tail from and we'll take we'll take our feather and we're just going to pull out stroke out a few of those fibers so we have access to those tip fibers that are very short Clip it off, just the tip, tie in that, that tip section there, and we're going to take a couple wraps, but before I do that I'm going to pull the feather up stroke all the fibers back so they'll wrap nice and evenly around the hook. So I'll take one turn another turn and one more turn capture it with my thread, tie that off, and I clip this butt, this butt section there, tag section, and clean up the head a little bit before I finish it off. turns there. Now if you want to have fun with it, what you can do here is you can take a couple of these fibers here and pull them forward like that. Take your thread and wrap over them. And separate them a little bit to make antenna. Gives it kind of a caddisy look there. So what we'll do now, we'll finish this head off here. Take my whip finish tool and I'm going to make about a five turn whip finish here. And we have our caddis slash mayfly slash catch it all soft tackle nymph and that fly will will take a lot of fish and I just want to show you what it looks like when it's activated by by the water I'm just going to show you with this air going over it. And you can see the antenna and the hackle and the tail and even the body fibers are constantly moving here. And uh, that, that, that's the impression of life that soft tackles have that a lot of other flies don't have. And that sucker's ready to go. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon.